you've ever walked across a Badland landscape? And yes, there is more than just that in the Badlands National Park. You've probably enjoyed those beautiful color-banded hills, but you also might have noticed some peculiar looking soil underfoot, like the ground was turning into popcorn. Into Classic Hello again and welcome back to Let's Go Geo. As always, I'm your field guide, Heather, and today I am in the arid badlands of Utah so I can show you some of nature's popcorn. And sorry if I caught you at lunchtime, I don't actually have any real popcorn for you. This stuff is technically not popcorn and it's technically not a rock, it's a texture. So what we have here is this stuff. Like I said, sure does look like popcorn, but it's a texture that occurs in this badland type of topography because those regions share certain physical and chemical properties in the paleosols. Those colorful layers you see behind me are of the Jurassic Age Morrison Formation, specifically the Brushy Basin member. And in that formation, you typically find siltstones, sandstones, a little bit of limestone, but mudstones and claystones and paleosols. Not old souls, old soils. Those layers represent the soils that the dinosaurs actually walked across. And as they did, ash from volcanoes fell down and deposited into the swamps, rivers, and lakes surrounding them. And that ash then was chemically altered to form clays like bentonite. Bentonite comes in several varieties depending on the dominant cations. There's sodium bentonite, calcium, potassium, and aluminum bentonites. But what's special about bentonite clay is how it behaves when it gets wet and then dries again. Bentonite clays absorb water. Bentonite can actually expand up to 16 times its size when it gets wet, and it can hold like 10 times its weight in water. And then when it dries, it contracts, which is responsible for this popcorn look. A process pretty similar to how these mud cracks form in these octagonal shapes. But in the case of bentonite-rich clays, it instead forms this popcorn texture. Bentonite was first discovered around Fort Benton, Montana in Cretaceous Shales. Volcanic ash rained down in the Cretaceous Seaway and then was covered by sediments and eventually altered to form bentonite clay. And as a result of those swelling properties, it's been highly sought after. It was first commercially mined in Wyoming, and since then it's been used in a variety of industrial applications from paper making and soap, and clumping cat litter, and the pioneers even used it to grease their wagon wheels and seal their roofs. So aside from these Morrison clays here in Utah and the famous Badlands of South Dakota, you can also find this popcorn texture anywhere where you can find the wet dry cycles in clays. You can find it in those Wyoming and Montana Cretaceous shales and in Colorado in shales like the Mancus shale. So now you know what popcorn texture is. So get out there and go find some and maybe don't go when it's raining because you'll probably find out the hard way what it's like to drive across or walk across this stuff when it's wet. 